Hi everyone, this is Turklaus. Um putting my uh, phone in one place because I have my stand over here. So if I'm not adding variety to my uh, videos, I apologize for that. But I think it might be a good idea to have some consistency. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to walk around the room and talk. Maybe that'll be a little bit more different than just standing or sitting. <clears throat> I will try to project my voice. My mentor and I had a very interesting Skype meeting today. Um, instead of going to the IOP program, I uh, went downtown to one of my favorite uh, places that I like to hang out. And I was busy doing a session with him, so I couldn't uh, make a video until I got in just now. I Actually, it's been a few hours, but I'm trying to hold on to my schedule as uh, much as possible. I'm going to close the door because I don't I don't want to I don't want my roommate to hear. I want some privacy. But I'm going to move around a little bit as I talk. I'm trying to move around a little bit a little bit more cuz I need to exercise a little bit. But I'm going to go ahead and talk. We had a really good session today, me and my mentor. My mentor is not a licensed therapist, but he's had some experience with trauma. And he's kind of helping me with my mental wellness process. He, he helped me formulate my mental wellness process and my universal ethics code. We both share that. And um, he let me basically make up and do everything um, because it's my thing. But he's been supporting it and living behind it. And um, today we both drew a very interesting conclusion about this Olga situation. Olga situation in my in the program the LGBTQ uh, crush limerence hopefully the limerence is going away because I don't have to be around her every day that's a blessing in disguise the limerence is gonna be going away I hope um, I haven't stopped thinking about her I haven't stopped having feelings for her but they very effectively stopped our relationship they very effectively sabotaged our connection. I really wonder about that. I don't want to say I believe it because I can't prove it even to myself, but as I said in the last couple of videos, I, I, I was very suspicious about it. I, uh, I, was in, I was intuitive with it. And <clears throat> I even expressed that intuitiveness a few times while I was there and of course they totally shut it down, shouted it down. And um, my mentor and I drew this conclusion today while we were having our session in the park. He's still in Canada, we're not, you know, together, but um, he doesn't like to be filmed either. But um, I realize now that it was probably a large percentage of my own fear that it ended the uh, connection with Olga. We did have a date, August 9th, and I um, still don't know how she feels. I don't know if she really was pushing me away or if I was the one doing most of the pushing away. I know that um, when uh, we had the date on the 9th of August and when Maya was continually uh, tripping about it, I could feel her fear. I could feel Maya's fear. I felt her fear more than I felt Olga's. I think I felt her fear more than I felt even my own. And when she said, she's straight. Olga is straight. I'm going to I'm going to act out. I'm going to see if I can act out her behavior. I have to be very careful not to exaggerate it. I want to see if I can act out. Okay. I'm Maya. Carol, Carol, I need you to come come outside with me. Come on, I need you to come outside with me. Carol, come on. Okay, now I'm going to be Carol. Maya, what's going on? Is something wrong? What do you need? Maya. Carol, I need you to come outside right now. Come on. She snapped her fingers. Come on. She, come on outside, Carol. I need to speak to you alone. It's urgent. Now I'm going to be Carol. <sighs> All right, Maya, but I'm starting to feel really nervous. I'm wondering if I did something wrong, Maya. 
Okay, I'll come on. I'll come on outside. No problem. Come on. So together we walk outside. I'm being the narrator again. Together we walked outside to the uh, patio, and there weren't any clients there because group was starting. And so we, we kind of walked outside. Okay, I'm Maya now. Carol, it is very important that you know this. She's straight. She's not lesbian. She's not bisexual. She's not into that. She's not about to come out. D you don't have to get her out. Um, you don't have to worry about, you know, making her gay. Uh, she's straight and you can't do anything about it. She is not capable. Maya, Maya, oh my God, I, I know, I thought we had this discussion already. Gracious, governor, I thought we had this. Carol, I'm serious. You really are gonna have to understand this. She just wants to be friends. All of that just wants to be friends. So when you go out on that date, on August 9th. When you go out on that friend date on August 9th, I think she slipped with the tongue and she said date. I'm being me again. She slipped with the tongue and said date. Well, you, you, you better understand this, Carol. This is very important. Me. I'm going to be me again. Maya, we had this discussion already. I don't know why you're even bringing this up. You're really starting to freak me out. This is very important. I just want you to understand that if you, if something happens and um, there's a misunderstanding, you could very seriously get hurt. I'm only trying to help you. I don't want you to get hurt, Carol. Maya, you have nothing to worry about. I'm not going to do anything. All right. Okay, I'm going to be the narrator again. This really upset me, you guys. And um, you can imagine how scared I was, it, especially if you're watching this video and you're supporting of LGBTQ. Uh, I hope you are. I hope LGBTQ supporters are watching this. Even even people that, that don't support it and even people that um, don't know much about it or are neutral about it, I hope you guys can think about this. Many LGBTQ people have enough anxiety and no, enough fear without feeling like they're being attacked by uh, non-gay people or by uh, people that they, they don't know if they're on their, si on our si on their side or not. You know, it can be a scary thing to go through this. So, um, excuse me, I need to take a breath. I need to take a little walk. Excuse me, I'm, I got some anxiety. I'm getting kind of off balance. All right, calm down, Carol. Calm down, Ooh, calm down. <sighs> My own fear. I came away from that. And my mentor was able to talk me down then. And he talked me down a little bit today. He goes, Jean Carol, your fear did get to you. Even though I talked you down, you really freaked out. You were afraid. You pushed her away too. You pushed Olga away too because you were really scared. And I said, I own that. I know. She, uh, she even asked me if I was mad at her one, one day. She said she was afraid to be around me because she was afraid I was mad at her, and I told her I wasn't. I just told her I was shy. And that was the truth, I was. And Ani goes, Jen Carol, you are also responsible for the way this relationship ended. I do blame Maya because she was being a real jerk, and she frightened you so badly. But I also know you, Jen Carol. You're a really strong woman. And um, you could have overcome that fear. It would have been okay to be more assertive with Olga and uh, get to know her better. It would have been all right. But you were really afraid. He also got, got empathetic with me and said, Jean Carol, although I do know you as a really strong, courageous individual, I know that there are times when you still get very scared. I know. And if the friendship ended because you got scared, I'm not surprised. And what a shame. So anyway, I wanted to tell you guys that tonight. I wanted to let you guys know that um, LGBTQ people are human too. And even in people who have crushes, 
I um, said on one of my shorts, um, limerence is a really scary thing. Limerence can lead you, can lead you to stalk people if you don't know how to handle it, or if it's not treated. But I was, I was under the care of my higher power. I was under the counsel of my mentor. I essentially had no support at all by the IOP program. None at all. When I tried to bring it up in group, I was shut down. And when I uh, tried to bring it up individually with Maya, she shut me down after a while. And my, my counselor shut me down and kept saying, I know, I know, let her go. You can let her go, let her go, let her be. And um, sometimes that's appropriate. But he said it to me all the time. And I got so sick of hearing it. I was hurting and I needed some support. I needed some, some grief therapy at least. And I wasn't even getting that. I wasn't even being taken seriously. But I think Ani is right. I think my own fear sabotaged it. And I did mention in other videos that that therapist was responsible for frightening me. And I, also, I want to end with this. You guys, aversion therapy. You're not just physically tortured and beaten, you're also shamed. If you're not physically hurt, you're psychologically hurt. You're shamed. You're told that it's wrong. You're told that it's dirty. You're told that it's shameful. You're told that it's Sodom and Gomorrah. You're told that it's a sin. You're told that God doesn't like it. You're, you're, you're not taken seriously either, like I, like I wasn't. And if you saw the movie Healed, after watching one of my other videos, that, that, that Darvo video I, I put out, if you saw Healed, I'm sorry that it's so, it was so painful for you to watch. That, is an, that was an extreme example of aversion therapy. That was a fictitious but very believable example of how LGBTQ people are shamed and tortured and uh, discouraged, discouraged from uh, their sexual orientation. Some of them are actually brainwashed into acting straight, even if they're still not. Gayness is a biological thing. There is a science. Look it up. There is a science to being homosexual. And if you want to be biblical, you want to be religious about it, if you want to be spiritual about it, my theory is this. We need to learn how to bond with, with people when we're in relationships. Not just be so damn obsessed with just having children and getting married. We have to be able to expand our understanding of what love is and what a couple is and what intimacy is and what a family is. And don't you dare accuse me, excuse me, excuse my anger. I strongly discourage you, anyone, from accusing LGBTQ people of recruiting people. We're not. In fact, in fact, these alleged aversions people, these alleged, con alleged converts from gayness, are the ones that are recruited and they want to recruit. Us. They want to recruit LGBTQ people into being straight. That's not possible. They can't do that any more than we can convert someone to being gay. So ladies and gentlemen, fear sabotages love. Fear destroys relationships. I could have had a friendship with Olga. Maybe she might have still rejected me. Maybe I still would have been embarrassed and humiliated, but, um, you know, maybe I still would have been rejected. My heart still would have been broken, but I'm sure it would have been a much cleaner break if I hadn't been shamed like that and frightened like that. Be safe, everyone. Bye.